Morning, happy Monday. I woke up really early today because I was in for eight o'clock, which meant I had to leave my house at 6.50, which meant I had to be awake at six. But I didn't go to bed until 2.30 last night. So I am just knackered. And for some reason, I'm really hungry now. Even though I have an exercise this morning, because I had no time. It's so freaking cold in this office here. I woke up this morning and I realized that I've got 19 days before I leave this hospital and 19 days to the end of my time as a trainee and as a fellow. I've been doing working on a research project for the last six months with one of the professors here um, and I normally meet every month on a Monday and today's my last Monday meeting with him and the statistician and my supervisor and it's just gonna be so sad. I'm finishing guys like it's actually it's bittersweet I'm excited but I'm also like nervous about it and I, it's nice to be leaving but also I've been here for three going on four years so I'm pretty entrenched here. So when I whenever I do a biopsy I always like CC myself so, so I can get the results so I know if my biopsy was accurate or not. One of my colleagues actually gave me the idea to do that and it's been really good because it helps you get feedback as to how how well you're doing and in fact so story time last week you know, two weeks ago i had to do this biopsy and it was a really like small thing that i was targeting the liver and one of my most senior consultants and colleagues was there and he came with me um and i did a couple and honestly i was pretty sure that i sampled the, 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 the abnormal area deletion. I'm pretty sure I sampled it, but he seemed to think that it was on the edge and maybe I got the edge deletion. It was a complex patient, didn't speak any English, so I had to have an interpreter and all that had taken a while to organise, who has organised a bed. So I didn't want to have to go through all that again, so I was really, really hoping that my biopsy had been positive. And then they have the MDT, the pathologist said, oh, the biopsy was negative, and I felt really bad. The next day, I get an email from her like um, gastroenterologist and he said oh actually despite what was said at the MDT the, the biopsy has come back positive and I log on and like pings up on my thing and I was like oh it came back positive MDT is finished, so we're going to go get some coffee um, before the next list. My stomach has been growling all morning, so I think it's about time. This is what I'm holding around with me today. It's a bag full of all sorts of things. Very heavy to take some carry my laptop and charges and things um, for my meeting. This is what gives me shoulder pain. Okay, so this is our office, right? And this entire space used to be empty. And then week on week on week, they've just been piling these boxes and, I don't know, spare goods here. And look at all these boxes. And the contents are so random. So there's things that you'd expect, like gloves and, like, you know, wipes and masks. But then there's also random stuff, like dividers on the side random chairs different kinds of chairs like you know we're going to run out of chairs in the next pandemic a random fan okay sure then there are these like lunch trays that we use for patients on the wards again why this is necessary I, I don't understand i don't know if we're stockpiling for the next wave or we just run out of space to store stuff in the whole hospital i mean there's bins there's sharps bins i'm not quite sure what we're preparing for like then this is the randomest of them all portable sinks that say for public use i'm so confused so i've got a few minutes before my day starts um got my coffee and a pastry i hadn't realized how much prices had been up right so where i normally get my coffee from the croissants there used to be one pound 85 and last week i went in there and when i got to pay she was like oh so that's 210 and i was like 210 and she's like, yeah, prices have gone up. And I was like, by 30p. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not paying for this. There's a little right next to work. I'm going to go there and buy the 45p croissants. And I did. But I realised I actually prefer the ones from Press because they have a little bit more chocolate filling. Like you can just tell that they've put a bit more ingredients into it compared to the one from Lidl. So 
tail between my legs, had to go back there today and pay freaking 210 for a croissant. And I think that's a bit extra. The same thing last week as well, another Japanese place I used to go to for food, the prices have gone up as well by a pound. Like, and my salary hasn't gone up. Morning list is over, it went pretty well. Um, I'm just really, really glad of how I've progressed, I think, in doing small bar ultrasound because last year there was a time when like even a year out into my training um i just thought like i, I just was never going to get this because it's actually a tricky skill to learn and i just said it was magic i'm like this is just magic i don't know how they're seeing this terminal eyelids i don't know how they're seeing these appendices it's just not possible and i remember at the time i used to like me and my colleague and my friend who trained together um and we used to just talk to each other and just be like yeah this we don't have no idea what we're doing it's still we feel really, really bad with the consultants. We've spent like ages faffing around trying to find the terminal ileum and in the end we have to give up and let the consultant scan it. But it's gotten so much better and literally that's just by coming, I just told myself I just had to keep coming back and doing this list because I thought I can't get any worse. I just have to keep trying and if, if it takes me the entire two years of suspect training to be able to get it, then it takes me two years. Um, so I've just been trying to come to this list as often as possible. I do at least one list um, a week, sometimes even two, um, ultrasound small bar list and gradually, slowly but surely it's gotten better and honestly in the last few months I've just felt very good about it, I felt more confident, like I'm able to just put a probe on and just be like yeah that's what, you know, that's a problem, that's abnormality, that's my diagnosis and it's just so, it's so nice. Um, so yeah, if anything it just proves that consistency does lead to improvement and ultimately perfection. I saw two cases there they were quite interesting. One was a small bowel or Crohn's recurrence um, in a patient who had been off treatment for a few months and um, now came back with some weight loss and grumbling symptoms and yeah you can see that there was inflammation and the ileum, a lot of um, increased blood flow, thickened the dermatitis and stuff. And then there's another patient who also this is one of my fears about childbirth is like clearly she's had a previous obstetric injury and she's damaged um the sphincter one of the um muscles that controls the you know sphincters in the back passage and yeah she's damaged one of them and it's quite thin in the front of it um and now years down the line um she's now got some difficulties like controlling um controlling the urge to open her bowels um, so she's now got increased urgency and um, even sometimes some leaking and I'm just like god like the things that women have to go through man seriously just to have some freaking cute babies um, yeah well that's it so I'm gonna go um, do some reporting now and then head off to my meeting I've got two o'clock with my last research meeting um, and probably pick up some cakes on the way um, yeah I'm just waiting for the professor to come and let me in. He doesn't have a cell phone, so whenever I get here, I have to send him an email and he'll come and get me from downstairs because I don't have access to the building. It's for full-time like um, university research stuff, so I don't have access to it. But he refuses to get a cell phone, so I can't text him, I can't call him. And there have been times when I've just been sat here emailing, being like, Hi, Prof, I'm here, come let me in. And he hasn't read my email because he reads the email every second of the day, right? That's what text messages are for on a mobile phone. <laughs> so, hilarious. Um, he's really nice though. Um, so it's just one of his eccentricities. And so I'll email and I'll wait and he'll come get me. I've tried to film this four times now, and each time it's been a problem. 
the dedication guys oh my god okay so i've come home i'm just getting home and it's been a good day overall the meeting went really well everyone seemed to have really positive things to say about the work which is great because i've been stressing about this for like the past few weeks because research is not like my forte it's my first time really doing like a research job i've been really like finding this quite stressful sometimes um so i was really like stressed about this beforehand I only got like three hours sleep last night so i was really hoping this would go well i'm so glad that it did i'm gonna sign off now i need to get some food because i skipped lunch i knew there's gonna be like a bit of food at the meeting like cakes and stuff because it was my last day but i didn't actually get to eat that much of it because i was presenting my work and i was the one doing a lot of the talking which meant i wasn't doing a lot of the eating um and i hadn't really had lunch i didn't have like a coffee and croissant in the like, late morning so i was okay whilst i was talking because i had like a huge like adrenaline pump and like caffeine and now all that's gone away and i'm left like intense hunger again so i need to get some food basically back to where i was in the morning it's full circle isn't it all i've done is talk about food in the morning and not end of the day so i'm gonna sign off now thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed this let me know um leave a like and also consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye